Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review of the Sabas Bella Series boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junky bits. What's going on guys? Carlo here. And today I'll be doing a review of these 16 ounce Sabas Bella Series boxing gloves. I got these in a custom black, blue, and metallic silver color scheme. These gloves currently are only custom made to order. I don't believe that Sabas currently carries any stock versions of the Bella gloves on their website, but you can or custom order these from Sabas. Um, now these are Sabas' puncher style glove. They have their Pro Series, so their Pro Series Primes, and they also have their Super Softs. And they came out with these Bella series to kind of give you guys, the people that really like that puncher's glove feel, to have their own glove. Now the big difference with these gloves is the 10, or should I say the 8 to 10 ounce gloves are all horsehair. I believe as well as their 12 ounce and then their 14 and 16 ounce is horsehair EVA and latex foam so the horsehair is what really gives you that feedback so if you're an individual that when you're hitting that heavy bag or you're doing mitt work and you really want the crack you really want to feel your shots land on your knuckles these are definitely the gloves for you there is a reduction in protection so I don't feel that like these are as protective as the pro series gloves but there's a kind of a trade-off between protection and feedback uh, with these gloves but again, the 14 and 16 ounce, which I have here, the 16 ounce, um, definitely, they definitely come with the EVA and the latex foam to offset that to give you more protection if you're using these primarily uh, for training. And speaking of the Pro Series, I actually got a pair of them right here. I wanted to bring these out just to show you guys the, com the size difference between these two gloves. So I have a standard pair of, of Pro Series. These are both 16 ounce gloves. And you can see right off the bat that the Bella gloves are a lot more compact. So they're both shorter and it's more more of a narrow glove so it's a leaner glove I, these really remind me of like a larger version of a pro fight glove and there again you can see there just the difference in size so for the pro series is, is more accented towards protection and more of a balanced glove i feel like the bellas are a little bit more of a puncher's glove which they're intended to be so um, i really like these i love the compact feel and profile of these. So let's go over the five things. So first is going to be the glove design. As you can see here, I wanted to go with the metallic color just so I can see how the metallic looks with these. And um, it has a standard Sawboss logo on the back. The big difference with these Bella series gloves is the back cuff comes with a clear laminated kind of plastic that goes over the patch that's stitched in here. Um, so that really gives it a nice classy look instead of the triple cuff design. You can order these with the triple cuff design if you request that, it's completely up to you. But I decided to go with the stock um, laminated or should I say um, patent wrist on the back. One thing to keep in mind if you do get this is that if any of these seams kind of come out if in sparring you could cut your sparring partner open. So it's really important to tape this over if you are going to use these for sparring. Um, and then design wise on the front you can see here that it has the Bella series printed on the grip bar and the other differences between these and the other uh, other Sabas gloves is the inside when I slide my hand in here you can actually feel that the fingertip and the back maybe I'd say right about up here to where your fingers are at has a nice felt liner on it so it's more for that luxury feel and uh, when you especially with your thumb as well your thumb thumb also has a nice felt liner on the back of the thumb so I you know as far as differences between these and the pro series that's what I would say design wise that's different where the pro series just uses that polyester nylon liner throughout the entire interior of the glove they use some felt in here that kind of give it more of a plush feel now quality wise these are really nice these gloves are actually made in Mexico on the inside here you can see that it has that standard polyester nylon liner but it has this, the Sabas tag and it actually says right there uh, it's showing Mexico so these are made in Mexico according to this tag and the quality on this is really nice I've used these a couple of times and haven't had any issues yet with any you know frayed stitching anything coming apart you can see there that the finger compartment is all nicely packed in one thing I did notice is right here and this is something that I've noticed with a lot of metallic gloves and I believe even fly says that in their um, on their website in regards to their metallic gloves is that it's really hard for the metallic color to really bond to the leather so I started noticing there's some flaking here on this thumb even though I've only been using these for a couple weeks now and again that's because you're, you're when you put your hand up to your face to for yourself and you're putting your hands up you're, you know you have sweat going down your face and 
the sweat and the salt in your in your in your sweat is really really eats away at the metallic. So keep that in mind. Durability of the metallic, I've just kind of come accustomed to knowing that it's not going to last as long as the standard solid colors in terms of just the look, the way it looks. Now the durability is still there. It's just the actual flaking of the metallic. So if, if you guys have that issue, just know that I've, I've kind of run into that with some of my metallic gloves as well. Just the actual metallic flakes starting to wear off faster than your standard solid color. So, um, but other than that, the quality is really nice. It has really nice thick leather throughout there. You can see that the foam has a medium to soft density. So again, this used horse hair. So you can see how much softer this glove is. Just to kind of push down the foam there for you. So it has a more softer. And one thing I also noticed with this foam is that because it's softer, it feels, I wouldn't say lumpier, but you can definitely feel more of the way the, the, the grooves of the foam. It doesn't feel like, like IMF where everything feels com completely perfect as far as the foam goes. Like there's no dents or, or any kind of, um, or bumps or anything. With this, because there's horse here in here, you can feel that there's a little bit of unevenness um, and that's because the horse here is kind of packed in there and you will have you won't it won't be level is that, I guess that's what I'm trying to say is that you'll definitely feel a little bit of a difference in Some areas of the foam are a little bit more denser like right here I can feel that there's a little level right there where the horse here might be pushed in a little bit So you might feel a little bit of unevenness and I believe that's due to the horse hair padding on the inside That's mixed in with the, the latex and the EVA um, so again, you can see all the stitching is done really nicely, double stitched throughout. They give you nice long laces here as well, so you can really wrap your hands up nice and tight. Uh, good polyester nylon liner, and again, I like um, the fact that they use that felt on the fingertips to give it a more uh, luxurious um, feel and, uh, in the inside of your hand. So when you really make that fist, it feels really comfortable. Now comfort-wise, these gloves were advertised, and that was another thing, the reason why I wanted to try these gloves on, is they were advertised to kind of feel like an old Cadillac when you put your hand in there, and I, I completely agree with that. When I put my hand in here, it, it just feels completely natural. Um, it's definitely a little bit more snug than the Pro Series. It's a little bit of a smaller glove, but my hand is in a completely natural position. Some gloves, when you put your hands in there, you feel like there's some pinch points, or you notice right off the bat, like, man, you know, it's kind of tight right here, and then on the side of my hand, it's kind of tight. You know, my fingertips are a little, it feels kind of numb because it, with these, it feels really broken in right off the bat, even more so than the Pro Series. So you can see I can open them, I close my hand really easily. And, and if I were to compare these to any of the other gloves I might have, is I have a broken in pair of Brandt boxing gloves. And these really remind me of that because they both use that belt liner to give it that more luxurious feel. But uh, comfort wise, they feel really nice. The wrist support is really good. You know, and I just feel that my thumb is in a nice position. There's nothing that's pinching. Um, when I make a fist, I can really roll my fingers over to clench my hand down and, and make a good fist. Performance-wise, these perform fantastic as well. I feel that the wrist support, once I tie these up, is really good. You have about a quarter inch layer of dense foam along the wrist channel right here. So when you tie these up, it really gives you the support you need. And it's pretty rigid as well on the back side. So you don't get a lot of movement there. The thumb is an optimal placement. Again, Sabas does a really nice job with thumb placement. I've never really heard people complain about the thumb on Sabas gloves. And these Bella series continue that tradition of having a really nice thumb. Um, and then the finger, the finger compartment. It doesn't feel too narrow. It doesn't feel too wide. Um, I feel like I can really roll my finger in there. And the biggest feature of the glove obviously is the horse here. So if you're using these for this for bag work or for mitt work, these really crack. You can really land some shots. I did feel that the harder shots that I was landing, I didn't feel like I got as much shock absorption as it is with the Pro Series gloves. And that's because of the horse here. So again, like I said earlier, there's a little bit of a trade-off with these gloves in terms of protection. Not to say they're not protective, you can still get some good protection out of these. But for those of you that might have some knuckle issues or want extra protection, then maybe get some winning NG, NG2 pads or those Skulltech gel pads if you need that little extra layer of shock absorption. But if you want a glove that's all great feedback, especially with that horsehair foam, and you, you really want that smack, then these would be the gloves of choice. But performance-wise, they perform well. Um, I haven't had any issues with these, and I definitely love the compact profile of these. Again, they really remind me of like a fight glove, just on how smaller 
and compact they feel, as well as really balanced. You can see that the glove weight distribution is really nicely done throughout the glove. It's not too top heavy or bottom heavy. The, the foam and, and just the, the distribution of weight is really good. Now cost-wise, these gloves start at $165 as a custom glove. Again, I don't believe Sabas has come out with any stock versions of these gloves yet. Hopefully they do sometime in the future. But currently, if you were to purchase these gloves, they are only considered a custom purchase, which starts at $165 on up, depending on what color, um, color leather you get, and just the style, or if you want some customization with your name on it, obviously that would cost more. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can purchase these gloves. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.